What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Koi World. At uh, the beginning of winter, you can get your fish, or at least check the health food fish, ready for winter for up and coming problems that you might come across. So my pond currently, as we all know so far, it's not heated. Um, it's an open pond um, and we're at the top of the hill. We get a lot of snow up here as well in the winter. So it's quite important to get these checks done. Would you say to it's fair to say this time of the year is about right. Currently halfway through the December uh, period. So hopefully we don't find anything today, but we have got a sick fish. If you haven't already, go and check that other video down through the videos already. And you can see there that we're currently treating the fish. I wouldn't say treating the fish, but we are using PDV salt that has been recommended by So at the moment, we are around about 0.07%. Don't forget, guys, there's, 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 there's certain levels of where you can and can't take your water from. Most of all, you don't want to be taking the water from a trickle-in system. If you've still got that going at this time of the year and you've got pure water going into your pond, you don't want to be putting the, uh, the, the jug on your trickle-in system and catching that water. You're going to be wanting to take this from the main pond water sample how we usually take the test is by using the jug and literally just take a big sample so currently we're sitting at 0.3 percent and we are at 6.7 degrees celsius so at 6.7 degrees celsius first of all we do know if we have got an issue today at that temperature we can't treat that with a lot of solutions can we no we can't which is the reason why we've been adding the salt and we're going to go back inside now with the uh, with the salt we're going to go back inside now with the water sample and hopefully we've got some nice crystal clear water not necessarily crystal clear but we've got some nice healthy water we're going to be using the exact eye dip uh, from sensafe.com which is that gizmo there so we can test ammonia nitrite nitrate phosphates pH alkalinity chlorine total hardness low range total hardness high range copper and metals so there is additional things that you can add to that but most of all in particular today which um, of the products that we've just mentioned and shown you around on the screen is is some of the things that we're going to be testing on uh, testing my pond for today so the exact idip a smart photometer system is the first patented handheld photometer to provide two-way communication with a bluetooth smart 4.0 ready apple or android smartphone slash tablet the exact iDip photometer is even waterproof and is rated with an IP65 rating and has permanent built-in sample cell. This eliminates the separate cell and simplifies the test procedure, which improves accuracy. The multilingual Exact IDIP app system allows for instantaneous software updates and upgrades test customization and mobile sharing of results with spreadsheets now that is impressive the app comes with four tests installed and over 35 additional parameters available for easy app purchase the exact IDIP system gives you a truly customized system that's accurate saves money your time and uses green chemistry that's guaranteed claimed by sensafe.com so the first thing that we're going to be testing for now being the ammonia so as we're sitting there we're not going to record that for the next five minutes so instead charles what brew please 
So, so far, the ammonia levels is at zero, which is what we were hoping for and what we've been getting on our test results. So, next up, we're going to test for the nitrite, which is the second part of the nitrogen cycle. Right, so, so far, we've done the ammonia. And now we're doing the nitrite. Nitrite, again has to be at a zero parts per million and as well as we've just got the results for the ammonia which is also a zero parts per million per million per million so so far it's looking good so the nitrite again is zero parts per million another result that we've been looking for we're just about to do the nitrates now and uh, hopefully it's relatively low otherwise it might be a possibility of a water change so so far we have absolutely spotless results which means zero ammonia zero nitrites and a stable value in nitrates, which means we don't need to do a water change. But as you've just seen, the redness of the fish, although it isn't as red as it was before in previous videos, it is unfortunately still red. So what we're going to do now is a scrape test. So if we can grab the fish, if it will allow me to grab the fish that is, nice clean scrape down one side of the body and then move the net out of the way and a nice scrape down the other side of the body making sure we scrape the part where the body has got the infection so we put the clip straight into the microscope and the bonus about this one in particular we haven't got to mess around with moving the glass and uh, scratching it all and the other thing we've got a bonus of is we've got a monitor so for those of you that uh, are unsure what we're actually checking for at the moment is anything realistically that's uh, that's got to be moving anything that's got a little bit of a movement to there and then we can stop and focus on that particular part itself so one thing you don't want to be getting confused with is that it's not trick or trick a dini for the longer version it's just an oxygen bottle Oxygen bottle? Oxygen bubble even. <laughs> so these little uh, things moving around there. Okay, so what we have got is a case of costia. We can't use certain treatments. They don't work when it's cold. 0 0.3 we are at the moment. Uh, so what we're going to do instead, okay, so we're going to up that to 0 0.7 uh, percent salt over the course of the next day or two um, gradually bringing that in I'm a little bit disappointed with that really good water results but it goes to show it's always best to get a fish consultant to get a second opinion thanks for watching like subscribe to the channel comment below if you've got any improvements or what you think we should uh, do differently we're going to do uh, an upgrade next week new video um, on how that went so uh, press the bell icon and you're going to get a notification when we do that. Or until next time, thanks for watching. Unfortunately, it's not happy koi, but I'm going to say it anyway. Happy koi! <laughs>